another bit of HTML that we're going to put in here is inserting a Facebook feed. So essentially content from our Facebook and likes and different things like that that we're trying to get people to, well, in the case of Twitter, follow, or in the case of uh, Facebook, like. Make sure that the um, A master page is closed. Why don't you go ahead and close the A master page and come to the home page, scroll down, and where it says our properties right here, we might want to give a feed of the different property listings and things that we're doing on Facebook, okay? So I'm going to have you use, if you have Facebook, you can use your own if you really want to do that, or you can use mine, it's fine. Take this box right here, and we're going to leave it there for the moment, and we're going to see if it looks good enough, but we're going to put the uh, Facebook feed right there. Go out to a browser and go to developers.facebook.com. You'll see that there's there's tons of stuff here. A lot of these social media, these social sites, are they give you um, the ability to work with plugins and work with uh, widgets and different things that you can stick into your pages. If you come to Docs up here, click on Docs, and this may be organized uh, a little bit differently, and I've already logged in here. You can see Social Plugins, and you'll see the now there's tons of stuff you can try. You want to put a like button, a follow button, comments, different things like that. Try it. I'm going to go to like box. Let's choose like box. And what we can do is we're going to get a box that looks something like this. And it's going to tell how many people like you and make you feel all good. So if you come here to Facebook URL, you can put in your URL. Mine happens to be Ask Brian Wood. There we go. And we just started the page. And you're going to see you can set a width. You can set an ultimate height if you want to. Um, this is optional, obviously. I'm going to try 300. We'll see if that works. Yeah. Maybe a little bit taller, 350, something like that. Okay. Give a little bit of room. We can say show faces or don't if we want to. And the faces right there, these are profile for You can see right there. If you don't know what they are. And then we can go in and say, hey, let's make it dark or let's make it light. We'll go with light. That's fine. We can show a stream if we want to or not, and otherwise it's just going to show something that looks like this, which is pretty small. The stream is is essentially your uh, your content, okay? It's stuff that's streamed on your pro public profile. You could say don't show a border, which is what we want to do, and you could say don't find this on Facebook. <laughs> you can get rid of the header. And that's it. We can try a couple different things. There's a lot more we can do here with attributes and different things, but click Get Code right there. Now, it's, it's two, two parts here, okay? We have to include um, this right after the body tag. We have to put this stuff on your page. This is going to be kind of weird. Copy this. So put your cursor in there and copy it. Come back to Muse. Go all the way to the top of the page. And just paste. Edit, paste. What it's going to do is it's going to paste this weird little HTML thing, which is going to be kind of hard to see. What we want to do is we want to take this bad, bad boy and we want to put it up here at the top, okay? So we can just stick it somewhere up here at the top if you want to. There we go. Okay, now go back over to Facebook. Come to this code. This, that, this code right here is just going to get it to work. This code right here is what shows on your page. So we want to copy this. Click OK if you want. It doesn't matter. Come back over to Muse. Now we need to position it exactly where we want it. So scroll down to the green box down here and paste. Take a second. There we go. Now, unfortunately, we're going to kind of have to guess here as far as positioning. So put it right there. It's not going to preview it directly right now. So it may. I mean, it, I've actually had it happen. Save your page, or site rather, and then let's preview the site in the browser. Sometimes with this type of thing, watch click on properties then. And we can see. There we go. There's our feed. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Cool. Now you can see there's a little bit of weirdness going on here. We probably need to make this a little bit taller. Uh, we can also make this a little bit wider if we wanted to. Make it look a little bit better. So if I go back to Facebook, if you want to, we can change the width on this. Maybe like 350, something like that. And go a little bit shorter, 300. You got to be careful with this because if you cut off too much, it might not look right. We can then get the code again. 
And we actually don't need to replace this. We just need to replace this. And we could have even edited that in Muse. So I'm going to copy that. Click OK. If we go back over to Muse, we can take this HTML and dump it, just delete it, and then paste again. And we'll see if it goes. There we go. Kind of stick it on there like that. We'll see what happens here. Why don't you take the green box and make it a little taller? How about that? That way we have a little more room here. All right, let's go test it out. I'm going to click on Preview right there. Sometimes that could be a little bit easier just to do a quick preview. And there we go. There's the box. Not quite working on the size there, but go back to Design and make sure that this box is tall enough. I'll go a little bit taller here. This is the problem not having a preview in here. So go to Preview Site and Browser. Click on Properties. And I might fix it a little bit more. So we can kind of go back and forth a little bit, see if we can't get it to work. Looks like it's having a little bit of issue here. I could try and resize this just a bit, just to give me an idea of what's happening. And then grab the green box and go a little bit taller here. It's almost like Muse might crash for a second. Hold on. <laughs> it won't let me. There we go. All right, let me go take a look at it now. There we go. Looks a little better. We can fool around with it a little bit. And there's our Facebook content. Nice. As a designer, you can go in and design this however you want. If you wanted to, we could go into this box here and maybe instead of a green fill, we could try a white fill. Do something a little different like that just to see if it would look better uh, as far as the Facebook content that's on there right now. I'm just kind of playing around. Yeah. Your call. Do whatever you want. You can try some different things. Anyway, that's working with Facebook. Uh, it's some great, great ways to add different content, different HTML content to your pages. Next, we're going to take a look at inserting different types of video into Muse.